Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It's time to plant my carrots. And the dreaded carrot flies always is on the prowl to attack my carrots. So I wanna give you some tips on how to deter carrot flies. So let me take you over to my row cover. This is a Hanix, this is a Hanix roll cover and it goes across like this. And once I get through planting my carrots in this row here, you're gonna see how I'm gonna stretch this Hanix row tunnel cover. It's like it's an insect um, tunnel cover to protect your crops from insects. The rich scent of carrots attracts the attention of pests called carrot root fly. And as you can see, I've started all of my carrots from seeds. So this is the carrot red coret um, chatonnet. So yeah, so these are the carrots I'm going to be planting. And because of the rich scent, it attracts the attention of this pest called the carrot root fly. The flies lay their eggs around the developing carrots. The larva, once hatched, burrows into the root. As a female carrot, flies are very low flying, by the way. The best method of prevention is to erect a barrier around the crop at least two feet high. So as you can see, I have noted the insect uh, tunnel cover that I use to keep my um, carrots protected. Masking the smell of the host plants does help by planting companion crops such as onion, chives, and garlic. So as you can see, I have chives right here, chives in the back, to uh, also help mask the um, smell of the carrots. You can also choose resistant varieties um, that have been bred for their resistance to carrot flies such as Flyway, Ibiza, Mestros, uh, Rista fly and Cytan, just to name a few. So I just wanted to share my tip on what I do to eliminate the pest of carrot flies attacking my carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and start planting my carrots. Oh, and by the way, I just wanna let you know, I ended up with a volunteer, isn't that cool? I've got two volunteer carrots that came up from um, last um, year and my radishes are almost ready to be harvested. As you can see, I've got a radish coming up right there. That's almost close to being harvested. And it looks like I've got radishes trying to peek up out of the soil. So I'm really excited about that. So these are my early cool season crops that I planted. I started from seed in February, 2020, planted them in um, early April. And so as these radishes start um, um, needing to be harvested then I start bringing in my carrots to start planting. So let me go ahead and start planting my carrots. And I've already thinned out my carrots but I may it may require thinning out some more. I'm going to use my compost from last year to backfill the soil.
All right. So I have all my carrots planted. Uh, we got a lot of rain last night and I was really happy about that because the soil is nice and moist. And then again, I backfilled my carrot seedlings with my um, aged compost and the rest of my carrots I'm going to grow in a pot. So now that I've uh, completed planting my carrots, as you can see, I am doing some companion planting along with my um, early crops, which is my beets. And I, as you can see, I have beets trying to come up right here. So um, I'm really excited about that. And then of course, I have my volunteer right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this forward like this. Now, I want to put my sign here that this row's got carrots. And well, maybe I should put this down first. So what I want to do is just anchor these. I want to be, be able to cover both plants. So I'm going to anchor those down. I need to do it. I'm going to stretch it, anchor it down like that. Stretch it some more and anchor it. Okay, so as you can see, this insect tunnel is acting as a barrier and I would take some really thin pins and pin the size down right here. And as you can see, my carrots and my beets are protected. And I will go ahead and pin those down. This is about, about um, two feet high. And then I stretch this out a little more. And I will t get small pins and just pin it down like this so as you can see my tunnel barrier now has allowed me to not only protect not only protect my new seedlings from the carrot fly and I, I also would get um, some pins and also tack these down here to keep the carrot flies from getting in. So what I've been able to accomplish is keeping my radishes from being attacked. Well, we get a lot of hail in Colorado, so it's gonna protect it from the hail, as well as all of my new seedling carrot seedlings that I just planted, not only will it protect it from the hail, but this insect barrier will also protect it from the carrot fly. So this is a tip on getting your uh, carrot seedlings in early to award, to deter the carrot flies. And it becomes an insect barrier, also becomes a barrier from uh, hail when we get hard rain. So I just um, want to share my tip with you on how to deter carrot flies how to do companion uh, planting and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.